Jonathan Agov here for Pro Boxing fans. Very late here at the Sheffield Arena. Delight to be joined by Dave Coldwell. Dave, Kel Brooks beating Mark DeLuca tonight. What do you make of his performance? Who do you want to see him face next? Um, do you know what? 40 months out and all the doubts, the pressure, the talk about, you know, does he want it? This, I thought it was a perfect fight for him. DeLuca came and, and, and he gave it a go. He landed some body shots, landed some head shots. So he was asking questions. First couple of rounds, Kel's time was way off. He didn't panic. He fought his way through it and got his timing back. And then he came out with a with a very good spectacular finish. So really, um, and that's after having to go a few rounds, you know, which is what I wanted to see. I didn't want to see a quick blowout because that's not going to tell us anything about him. Um, so it shook off a lot of ring rust, a lot of doubts, and will have built a lot of confidence for him. So uh, perfect result, really. Who should he face next? Liam Smith. I want that fight. I want to see that fight. I think it's a great domestic fight. I think it's a, an exciting fight. I think style of gel. And it's a fight the crowd are going to get excited about, the fans are going to get excited about. And the winner of that then moves on to a world title fight. That's how I see it. And Terry Harper becoming WBC Super Featherweight Champion, the first from Doncaster. Um, yeah, unbelievable for her to win that against such a champion like Wallstrom. Yeah, I thought she, she was brilliant. I thought she boxed really well. Um, excuse me. Um, I always said that I thought she'd win the fight. I think at 39 years old, Terry does things and in, in her style that a 39 year old doesn't want to face. You know, at 39, Volstrom's feet are going to be slower. So Harper has fast feet and good feet. So every time she tried closing that range, Harper wasn't there and she was catching and she was pinging her. Then what was interesting is that Volstrom changed, changed his tactics a little bit, started countering, looking for counters, making Terry make mistakes, started catching Terry. But then after a couple of rounds of Volstrom getting back into it, two, three rounds of her getting back into it, Terry then adapted and then realised, okay, I can't just rush forward now. I need to, I need to be more subtle my attacks now and keep her guessing. And then she just took over. And once she took over, that was it. She was brilliant. She was really, really good tonight. I'm really happy for her. And a win for you as manager tonight, Callum Beardo. Yep, yep. Open one for Callum. You know, it was a big thing. Uh, opening Second the show, uh, 2-0 now. Yeah. Uh, again, he's another one because he's had an operation and what have you. He's been out of the ring for a long time. Um, and, and to come here, 300, 300 tickets. I've done 300 tickets. Great crowd, great atmosphere for him, and uh, he put up a good, a good performance, a good learning fight for him as well. What well, man who should have or was scheduled to be on this Hopey Price? When when's he next out after injury? Uh, I'm just. I'm, I spoke to Eddie earlier on. I'm hoping for March, but if not, it'll be first week in, in April. Final one, Dave, because I don't think I'm going to see you for two weeks. Wilder Fury, break this down for me. How does this second fight play out the rematch? Do you know what? You just don't know because you can write Wilder off and he can be losing every single minute of every round and then he can land that right hand. So you don't, I, I, I think Fury, but uh, if Fury's changing his tactics to stand there more and, and to look for bombs more, then he's in danger more. In that case, I, I'd tip it over to Wilder. So I just don't know. It depends what Fury, what, what Fury decides to do. Absolutely. Can't wait for that. Dave Colbert, thanks very much for giving us your time. We'll uh, hopefully catch you up soon. Thanks, mate.